If you're trying to make INAV fly better, this video is for you. I got three tips in this one where we're going to talk about a couple options you can explore to increase your flight performance using INAV for your quadcopters. First tip is if you head over to theuavtech.com and browse down to presets, you will now see INAV 6.1 presets here. These are for patrons only. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and give it a sign up. It's only two bucks. After you sign up and sign in with the login, you will see these presets will be available to you. You see we go from whoop up to micro. Then we have five inch with GoPro, without GoPro, racing quad, six and seven inch, eight and nine inch up to the Cine Lifter class. And I plan on adding more as well. These presets not only cover PIDs, but they also make rate recommendations, have filter settings and mechanic settings as well, and along with some CLI variable changes that you're gonna to wanna to make. So if that is not your jam, you're not feeling the love to support the channel a little bit or looking for some INAV presets, you'll like option number two here coming up where if you go up to the utilities on the top of the website and go to the filter calc tool, you'll be presented with this page. Now this is available for everybody, the no Patreon access, anything on this one. And this is a PID converter tool that you can use. So with this, you can put in your Betaflight PIDs up top here and that will convert them down to what you'd want to put into INAV, at least for the PIDs portion. Now for filter, Filter settings, mechanic settings, maybe some rate recommendations. You're not going to see those here. Those are going to be in those presets. However, this will help you convert if you have good PIDs on a quad and want to put those, you know, want to convert that or have that quad go into INAF for some GPS stuff. Um, yeah, you use this tool. Generally, as you can see here, it's really just having the PID values, but you can see there's a little bit of a difference here with the feed forward and how we implement that. So let's move on to tip number three on what you need to do to get feed forward to get as close as possible you can to Betaflight. So after you go through that PID calc tool there and convert your stuff over, one thing you are gonna wanna do is go into here and set this D max to a higher value. This will boost the D gains when you get to the full stick rate. INAV's feed forward is not as, I would say, refined as Betaflight's. I mean, Betaflight is the king of tracking your stick movements for racing. That is really their focus. That said, Betaflight doesn't have all the GPS enabled flight modes, can't fly quadcopters, boats, airplanes, doesn't have waypoint missions you can do as well. So they're just two different softwares. But in addition, you can get INAV flying pretty dang good. Feed forward is in there, pretty modern filtering is in there as well. And with this D boost, you can get feed forward to pretty well behave. You're not going to get as tight a tracking and, you know, as you're going to get with Betaflight and all the different conditions, but you can, you can tighten up your stick tracking so you don't have so much latency and lag in between when you're doing sharp stick moves to when actually the quad starts to move. And we're talking, you know, without something like a feed forward, you get like 20, 25 milliseconds of latency. It's a lot. So it will really reduce that down. This, you know, increasing this D boost, this D max, will uh, help with that overshooting. You're still gonna get some specifically if you're looking at like black box, you'll see it yet. However, if you're not, you know, threading the needle that closely, you probably would not notice any of the odor overshooting. You get you get used to it with this. So that's the, that's the third tip. When you're implementing higher amounts of feed forward to kind of tighten up your stick feel with INAV, don't forget an association with that to increase this D-boost amount. Generally, what I would recommend is using this quick calc tool and when you want to increase feed forward amounts go from your old feed forward amounts or whatever you're using and then just use this multiplier whatever you use for the multiplier down here that's what you're going to want to put into d boost okay well that was it if you did find that helpful please be giving this video a like or drop a comment down below share this video out to your friends and if you're really interested in learning how to tune altitude hold if you're as interested in that, as excited as I am to be able to present that, there's gonna be some information in this next one you're not gonna find anywhere else on the internet. So make sure you subscribe down below. Thanks everybody, see you in the next one.